Okay, so first of all, select somewhere inside the table and then go to Insert and insert a pivot table. We'll put it in the existing worksheet here and OK. Then we'll take the seasonal column and put it in the value fields and then take the date column and put it in the rows field. Then we'll click here and go to value field settings and change it from sum to average and OK. Then click one of the dates in the pivot table and right click and go to group and we will group this by months and years and OK. At the moment we have every month for each year but if I take the months and drag them on top of the years then I have every year for each month which is what we want for a cycle plot. Now we have to change the design of this pivot table a little bit in order to plot it so we'll go to design and remove the subtotals and remove the grand totals and in the report layout we will change it to outline form and then also repeat all item labels. Then the chart that we want to use can't be used with a pivot table so we have to copy all of this and then paste it as values then we can use this table to make the chart. So I will select all of this and then if I go back up to the top, at the moment this is the active cell. If I use the keyboard shortcut control full stop, it moves the active cell to the other side. Then I can use shift and right arrow to select just this column. And then we'll go insert and insert a scatter chart with smooth lines. And this creates the first part of the cycle plot. Then the next step is to get a value for each of the months. So we'll go back to the pivot table here and take the years and drag them out. And then we'll have an average value for each month. Then we need to get the values in this table to line up with the values in this table. And we are going to do that using a VLOOKUP formula. So we'll be looking up the month here in this table here and we'll press F4 to make that an absolute cell reference so it doesn't change when I send the formula down. The column index number will be 2 as we want to get the results from the second column in this table and then the range lookup will be false for an exact match and close brackets and enter. Then we'll double click to send this formula down and we get the 5.94 January in all of these cells and then it changes to the 6.4 for February and we end up with a different number for every month. At the moment there is a problem with this because between every month there is a blank row and for this we are still getting a number which we don't want. So in order to fix this I will put a IF formula around the VLOOKUP formula. The logical test will be IS blank and we'll be testing to see if this cell here is blank and if it is we want to put the NA error and if not then we want the results of the VLOOKUP formula and close brackets and enter. Then we'll double click to send this formula down again and now there is an NA error between every month. Then we can take this column here and copy it and go back up to the top and select the chart and then use Control v to paste. And now we have a horizontal line showing the average for each of the months. The next step is to add in labels for each of the months and in order to do that we need to know that we have 10 years worth of data here 
plus the space, which makes 11 in total. And so each month is going to have 11. And we want the label for the month to be in the middle. And so we need to take 11 and divide it by 2, which will get us 5.5. Then we'll do equals 5.5 plus 11 and enter. And then drag this formula down. So we get the value for the middle of every month. And this gets us the x values, but we also need y values. And that will be whatever the smallest value is on the y axis. So in my case, it's minus 10. And we need the same number for every single one of the y values. So I will drag this down. Then we'll select the chart and right click and select data. And then add in a new series. And for the x values, we will select these values here. And for the y values, we'll select these values here. And OK. And OK again. And now we'll select the series that we just added, and we will add data labels to it. Then we'll select the data labels and press Control 1 to open up the formatting bar. And instead of showing the y values, we will select value from cells. And the values will be these values here for all of the months, and OK. And now we have labels on the chart for the months. Now we need to do some formatting to this chart. So we will put the months below the line. And then we will change the line to be no line so we can remove it. Then on the y axis, we need to change the minimum back to minus 10. Then we'll delete the chart title and we'll move the plot area upwards a little bit. Then we need to move the horizontal axis down to the bottom. So we'll select the y axis again and we will go to horizontal axes crosses and change it to axes value minus 10. Then we want to get rid of the numbers, so we'll select the horizontal axes and we will go to labels and change it to none. Then we'll also add tick marks to the axes and we will change the line color to black. Then we will do the same thing on the y axis, make it black, and we will add tick marks to it. Then we will delete the horizontal grid lines, and we will add in a border to the plot area, and then we'll remove the border from the chart area. And then we will change all of the text so that it is black. Then we need to get rid of the gap at the end here. So in order to do that, we need to know that we have 10 years worth of data here plus the gap, so that's 11 altogether. And there are 12 months in the year, so we need to do 11 times by 12. And that gets us 132. Then we'll go back to the chart and select the horizontal axis and then we will go to axis options and change the maximum to 132. This changes the minimum, so we'll change that back to zero. And then we'll change the major units to be 11. So then we'll have a grid line in between every month. Then at the moment, the orange line is being plotted over the top of the blue line. And I don't want it to look like this, so in order to fix it, I will right click and go to select data, and then I'll move the series two. Series two is the orange line, and series one is the blue line, and OK. And now the blue line is being plotted over the top of the orange line. Now we'll change the color of these lines, so I'll make this a light blue and then this a dark blue. And now we have the cycle plot set up. So the cycle plot shows two things. It shows how the values change over the course of the year, so it's higher in the winter and lower in the summer. 
And then we can also see how the values for each month in every year change. So at the beginning here, we have the value for January 2012. And then we go through all of the years for January. And at the end here, we have the value for January 2021. And we have that for each of the months. So for the second month, we have the value for February 2012. And then we go through to the value for February 2021. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to make a cycle plot in Excel. And that is everything.